Mount Druid, Mount County, Mount County. Man, Mount County has come so far, man. What do you mean? I remember back in the days, no one, no one wanted to go around Mount County. Oh, sad. No, like since. Yeah, no. I, I, I went to. Yeah, you went to Seven Hills. I went to Seven, seven Hills, Hills, guys. So for those that don't know, I went to Hill Sports, which is a couple of stations away from Mount, Mount Druid. And, like, this is about oh, yeah. 12 years ago. Mount Druid was just, wasn't the place, man. Like, that was a. It's kind of like a, the, the, the reputation they had was you just. It was a very, the place. Yeah, it was, it was known as a rough neighborhood, you know, it was just a really rough and you didn't want to go there, you didn't want to really hang around there, like it was, yeah. It's the place, man. But we had family there, we had family there. Yeah, my family there. Anyways, so. So. Toss our mom! It's been so crazy. How crazy has it been? Yeah, now? but it's been so good, like it's been so cool to see, um, yeah, just people that being proud and representing. But on the real, there has been a lot of banter and a lot of that stuff. You know what I mean, Charlie <laughs> Bean? And um, just going off of our last episode. Stop on, man. Come on, man. Let it go, Doctor. Let it go, all right? Doctor, are you still Aksu, in morning or are you Doctor, right now? I love Aksu, bro. Are you all right now? Or... Kenny was a bit like he was in mourning for a little bit. But, uh, yeah. I think most of us. It's very <laughs> passionate. Thomas Armour, man. There's Come on, bro. There's nothing. There's no better game, man. Like, Thomas Armour is better than State of Origin, better than the Grand Final. Mm. Like, yeah, it's different. Different vibes, man. Just a whole, like, spirit of, yeah. like. It's like different. Everyone's so, like, passionate, and it's like. So much history. Uh, it's so it's so much history. It's interesting. It's but, history, like, but then it's also personal because, like, when I say personal, like a lot of families have Tongans and Samoans. Like, mar Tongans are married to Samoans. Like, it's a very, it's a common thing. Yeah, nowadays. I kind of feel for like, um, I don't feel for like you know what I mean. Like, I feel like the like there's been so much focus on Tongans and Samoan. Like, what about like Fiji and Cook Islands and? Well, I think it's know? just because our nations are. Bigger? I don't know. No, it's not bigger. It's close. There's a lot it's of there's history. There's yeah, it's like yeah. Anyway, so it's been interesting. So after our last episode, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Um, and it's titled "Differences Between Tongans and Samoans." But it's not like that. It's not like you know, Tongans do this and Samoans do that. And, we're better than this and we're better than yeah, that. Yeah, but I think it did come across. It, I think it, it might came, have come across that way. I think way. it came across that way, but like, no, it didn't come across that way. you got to watch the episode. No, no, like, if, no, if you just say someone like, yeah. like if you were to say to someone, oh, what's the difference with? Between, Anyways, yeah, yeah. Between tongues and someone. Yeah, yeah. without explaining the, the behind the context. this context, yeah. it can be taken like, oh, well, us tongues are us someone's, yeah. So anyways, so if you haven't watched it already, go back and watch that episode. But we we just share like what our upbringing was like. Like my upbringing, you know, growing up in a home where like my dad was Tongue, my mum was someone. So those were the differences that we we're talking about um, in that video. Just because we we're like on that topic because of, you know, obviously because of the game and whatever else. So... Well, you know, wait, wait. Congratulations, man. Like, come on, like... 
It is a twin flex. <laughs> you better know it. But um, <laughs> yeah, congratulations to the, to the Samoan team. You know, they come far. Like, I really feel. But remember, I told you in our last video. Yeah. Remember, I told you. You'd be surprised if they win. Yeah, but like, yeah, but the Samoan team, like, the boys, like I'm talking about the boys, right? Like, they're just like different energy, you know, different energy, different vibes. Yeah. A lot of them came from the grand final. You know, yeah. and I feel like they got a chip on their shoulder. They want to make a, you know, Samoa. Samoa hasn't yeah. been able to, you know, build that that momentum and energy as a Samoan team. Mm. And I think Tonga They're did right. it. Not not saying that Tonga led it, but like, so the boys that are coming up, like they really want to rip it, you know. Yeah. And they showed it. Like they, you see it. Like yeah. they beat Tonga. They, they came back from that the England game, and they made it to the GF. You know, and even they even gave England a good um, Australia a good go. You know. So, yeah, but yeah, the boys, man, like, just different level with the younger ones, eh? Yeah. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, so anyways, in this episode, we kind of wanted just to uh, not touch too much on it, but um, just kind of share, like, what we've taken, like, from these past few weeks. Well, maybe explain what you did after our episode. Yeah, so, so after that, after we... After we put up that episode, um, I put up on my Instagram like just a question asking, you know, what are what do you reckon are the differences between Tongan and Samoan? Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, yeah. But I was coming from going off from our episode that we did, which we, you know, we spoke about like different like customs and traditions that were practiced in my home, and how I later realized that you know some of them belong to. Samoan culture, some of them belong to the Tongue culture, like, and how I wasn't able to tell the difference between that until I was married. So that's where I was coming from with that question. But when I put it out, <laughs> sis got like some answers, some deep answers, you know, it's from spicy. the it's spicy. <laughs> a little bit feisty, you know what I mean? But you know, but these responses that I got like yeah, these so are what, just what real, did you put out like what did you these put are just out? real like th this is just like real like answers this is yeah, just so, what, so what did you do so after our, after you posted up our video yeah so then I asked the question what do you reckon are the differences between someone's and Tongans yeah but you were saying you were asking from a context of yeah like what are the different like what are the differences as in customs <coughs> customs tradition, traditions yeah. you know like in our last episode I spoke about how Yeah, talking about like different cultures, like um, like when when I was uh, washing the hands. Yeah, like yeah. For, yeah, like example like that, right? Like giving our guests like a bowl of water to wash their hands. I thought that was just like a normal thing. I didn't realize that was like a Samoan thing. Yeah. I didn't realize that at all. Tongans don't do that. Yeah, Tongans don't do that. So that's what I. That's where I was coming from. Yeah. So you're asking in regards to like what what are some other things? That yeah. Are, what are some other things? You what know? was what was the response? Um. So some <laughs> of the responses. Were like just had me like girl who hurt you you know but you know some of these responses were like you know culture a uh culture a like give freely while culture b expect to receive mm -hmm. you know some of them were like culture a so you're not gonna you're not gonna say someone no i'm not gonna say so was a lot of it well a lot of people that were replying was it is people that were someone in Tonga? yeah some yeah a lot of them were like people someone, that married into the Tonga family someone no so a lot of them were like full size married into a Tonga family no, full, married to a, full size married size then oh like, really yeah full size married size um then like size marrying tongans and vice versa and then half cast like me Mm. So it was interesting. So, you know, and then there were other replies like, um, you know, um, culture A. Why don't you tell the people that what culture it is? No, because I just want to say it. And if it resonates with you, then just have a think about it and be like, damn, do, do I really do that? Because the thing is, is like these replies that people yeah, give me. What if people want to hear Well, it? then they can reply to this and I will maybe uh, maybe we will people want to know then maybe i will next episode but not right now because that's not the vibes yeah but Anyways. i think i think like um listen guys we don't want to like yeah that's why i don't want to say yeah it can get very um ugly 
Yeah, and I, for, for me, look, I, oh, for me, guys, as a full time, as a full time, marrying um, a Samoan time, like I realized that, you know, there's a lot of things that I, 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 <laughs> I, I was thinking, like, in regards to, like, you know, my ego and. You know, I, th I think when it, when we when we start to put others down, I know we get prideful guys around our cultures, but I think when we start to put other cultures down, I think that's wrong. You know, so I I, I think it was a blessing for me to be on this side where Nana showed me the answers, and I was like, wow, like yeah. I, I, I like being honest, I see myself like that too. Yeah. And so you know, it's my yeah. kids, my kids are you know my kids are half Samoan, like that's it, like it's the reality, you know. And well, actually, my kids are what they call. Hello, 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 which means uh, mixed, you know. So I don't think that's the right message I want to portray to them, you know. So I'm not trying to get all serious, guys, but yeah, you know, like, serious, like that's though. the, like that's that's the lesson I've taken away from this. So yeah. yeah. So some of yeah, so like some of the replies were like, you know, um, one of them was like, you know, I noticed that culture A mums don't like. Mm. Uh, when now sons marry culture B, you know, and you know, like why is that? You know, yeah. like why is that? You know, why why is it like such a problem or an issue? You know, um, why don't they just love me for? Why don't they just love me for who I am? Um, yeah, I, another I, I, one. I don't, I don't think like I'm just. I don't think it's a like. I think it can be cultural, but I think like yeah. even if it's the same culture, like in the Tong culture, mm. sometimes like the parents are just not receiving. You know. Um, yeah. Some of the, oh, we got a side more flag. Some we're of the in, other uh, artists, where are we now? We are in We're in St. Clair, St. Clair, guys. St. Clair. We're about uh, 12 okay. minutes away. 12 minutes away. Anyways, um, yeah, some of the other answers were, um, some of them were like, you know, they don't understand like their, like languages. Like they think that like, um, you know, culture A speaks don't speak their language, their mother mm. tongue as much as the other culture, yeah, which yeah. was interesting. Well, um, they, they don't speak or they don't embrace the culture? They don't speak it. Speak. So I think it's the same, same. Like well, why, why is that? Did they say why? Yeah, I'll get into that. Um, some of the no, other is it replies... They, is it because they were brought up here in Australia or New Zealand or whatever it is? Yeah, part of the reason. Mm. Um, another reply was... So I'm trying to remember. You know, then you just had like replies like, you know, culture A are more cleaner than culture B, you know, things like that. Um, culture A, the, we had people from the outside that, Wait, that let me weren't just say either this, guys. way. Let me finish. Wait, Nana, Nana posted this up after the after some more big time. <laughs> so <laughs> it was personal. Some people just needed some, to vent. Yeah, some know? people just needed to let it out. Which is which is okay, but I think the timing was it was good, but it was like. Yeah, is you know, it in the, is spare of the right. moment? Spare of the moment? It's all right. Like, people just needed to vent. I'm all ears. Anyways, um, there were uh, answers like, um, you know, when culture A tries to put, like, culture... When culture A tries to put their culture on culture B, do you know what I mean? Like, they try to kind of force it onto, like, the other... The other uh, really? side. Yeah. Um, another one is, um, culture A is, um, has like this authoritative, like, attitude. So there was that. Yes! Huh? What? We're nearly, we're nearly there, April. Nearly there. Um, yeah, so there were just all these, like, different, like, different answers you know um what was the other one that you said which was pretty like uh yes the white culture is something expect to give or something what was that one yeah i shared that one how culture a how culture a is very giving while culture b expects to receive yeah uh, another one was like culture a culture a will like be so proud of you but the minute you like do something wrong mm. they will like disown you or they like just talk bad about you wow. um there was another one where culture uh, uh, anyways it was kind of like that like that that was like the 
kind of replies that I was getting. And so something that I took from that, right? Something that I took from that is our perception of one's culture, I feel like is, is part of it is like dependent on like your circle of friends, right? Like your circle of friends and family, uh, the experiences that you have. Do you know what I mean? Like some people might experience like one culture like this, but that's just because the people are like that. Does that make sense? And so like for me, um, it was it was enlightening for me, but I think what I took from it is that there's just a lot of misunderstanding, right? And so as a half caste, because I, I guess, because I am exposed to both worlds, I'm able to understand it understand it better right when I was reading these replies to me they were kind of funny you know they're funny because I see the truth in like their replies like even though their replies you know if made public would come across like really savage or whatever because you grew up in a, in a Tongan Tongan like a Tongan family or like a, you, you grew up did you grew up around most Tongans yeah, we were always like the around, water, right? Yeah, we were always around Tongans. But at home, church. it was very, it was Samoan, because mum. Yeah, because mum, like mum, yeah, like my parents spoke Samoan. Yeah, and, yeah, so, oh, they, so they spoke Samoan in the house. Yeah, they spoke Samoan wow. in the house, you know. But then outside of the home, it was, we were always surrounded by Tongans. At school, it was Mixed? mostly, no, it was mostly SARS, actually. Like, oh, really? Yeah, like Eve Miller, like they're like, and the other girls, mostly SARS. Are they your friends still? my friends they're watching this hi guys um are you sure <laughs> <laughs> you know just feel sorry for you because you got five kids and you get lonely your husband's uh your husband's uh a loser gosh guys get your mate here anyways um they're tommins eh no they're they sad oh that's oh, oh my gosh they're tommins no <laughs> this guy he's such a star anyways uh, so um yeah, so I just well, feel all. like <laughs> so I feel like just the one thing from this guys is like there are all these differences, right? There's all these differences with like customs, even when it comes to like superstitions. Like I read a blog back in 2019 after I watched this video from this BYU student who is a half cast and he spoke about like his experience growing up half cast, right? And how he never felt worthy enough to be either or. Mm. Right, and that was something that I shared in the last episode. It's just like how you never really felt like you fit in anywhere. Like if you were with in a circle of Tongans, you were always laid with the Samoan. If you were in a circle of Saj, you were always the Tongan. Right, so that's how it was growing up, like as a Afghasi. Anyways, so um, yeah, just something that I took from this is that there are differences, and differences doesn't mean that it's bad like if you're different it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing right especially like between like Tongan and Samoans like the way that they from my understanding the way that they practice and teach how to respect yeah, is different it's different like you know it's different and it doesn't make it a bad thing it just means that it's different you know but I think that's the beauty in being different is that each culture is unique in their customs and traditions and it just brings like more to the table yeah but you know? i remember you said like uh, someone said it oh well, what are the positive uh, replies you're not sharing those ones what, what are some of the no those the replies that were like you know empowering ones where they're saying about like even though the culture's different but they both preach they both center their lives on respect mm. faith yeah, so families there was, yeah so know? there was one that was like my favorite one was you know both cultures are centered on god faith and family yeah. right god faith and family and that's true you know and i think it's the same with like the morals that are taught like you know with you know fuck up, up, up like respect the thing is is that it's just practiced differently Different. and just because it's different doesn't make it a bad thing do you know what i mean and yeah. i feel like that's where the comparison comes in and that's where that negative energy comes in because it's like oh yeah but you guys do it this way and that's wrong and it's like no it's not wrong <laughs> that's just how they do it like in their culture you know and so like yeah i think that's just something that i've learned it's like you know for us to 
get along better, it's how like understand each other better. Um, you just gotta learn, like you gotta learn and just like educate yourself, you know. And I think that's important for our children growing up, like around, you know, being half caste. It's important for them to understand their culture um, because that's who they are. Do you know what I mean? And like not be ashamed of like who they are. And that was some of the um, replies that I got about people feeling like they didn't fit in. And it was interesting because this came from like people who were like full Sa, full Tongan. Yeah. And they felt like they didn't fit in. Yeah. You know. Because they didn't know the culture as much? Yeah, because they didn't know the culture. Or there's this like, there's this like shame culture like where like or if you're not handy yeah like if you don't speak it you're not Samoan enough or you're yeah. not Tongan enough or if you've never been to Tonga like not you're not Tongan enough do you know what I mean yeah. or if you're half caste like you're only half Sam like do you know what I mean like you're not Sa enough or you're not Tongan enough and I feel like that like needs to that narrative needs to change and I want to change that for the kids because I don't want them to ever feel how I felt like where you like don't really fit in do you know what I mean like I want them to be proud like of who they are like you know so oh. yeah, but I think you know I think yeah. the, like I've heard people say that oh like the generation these days they don't embrace the culture and this but to be honest I really I, I believe that more considering the, the amount of Polynesians that like amount of us people that like we're brought up in a, another country mm, but our heritage country. is back home like we still there's a big portion of, 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 of the people the young ones that embrace the culture mm. really you know what I mean like really embrace it and yeah like they really embrace it and I think it's beautiful I think it's important like I want my kids to know the Tongan culture I want them to know the Samoan culture mm. because because that, 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 that that's them like that's their identity you know and um, you know I think if, if anything what the World Cup did bring like you know, especially with Samoa and their massive win and you know is it brought a lot of pride to the to the Samoan people you know yeah. especially to those that weren't that didn't that, that didn't think they were worthy of yeah, the culture you know yeah, it, it like gave them a sense of identity belonging. yeah identity. and we need to we we need to be able to be passionate and love that you know yeah but don't be don't be embarrassed or don't feel like you're not worthy enough to embrace it you know so, so I was born in Sydney Nana was born in New Zealand yeah. But we still want to embrace it, guys. You know, because that's our that's like our uh, ancestors. What do you call it? Our ancestors. Yeah, it's our roots. Yeah. So yeah, and I think it starts with us, right? If we want to like, if we want to like hold on to our culture and pass it on to like you know our kids and that, we need to we need to. It starts with us, right? Like yeah. that whole. So, so we had a. So I was kind of sharing this to um, my sister. What? what? So we were what? kind of talking about this with her what? around, you know, because cause Nana was kind of saying like, oh, I'm I'm half I'm half Samoan, half Tongan. Like it was so hard, mm. you know. Like that was Nana's story, like her her upbringing, right? And one thing that my sister said, like Sue said, she said like, it can be looked at as a bad thing, but it can also be looked at as a good thing because. Sometimes, like myself, I grew up in the Tongan culture. Mm. I think the Tongan culture is number one. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Tongan culture is the best culture in the world, right? Yeah. Naturally, you think that. Well, naturally, you think that. But what happens is, this is not. Mm. Sometimes we overdo it. Sometimes, you know. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to put the Tongan people down, but like, there's things in, in the culture that that are that are not right. And the only way that I know that is by exposing myself mm. to other cultures. To other you cultures. know, people say, "Oh, the Palangi culture or the Samoan culture." So I think that's the advantage of those that are half caste is they get a they get a glimpse of both worlds. Mm. You know, they get to see in both worlds and I'll and, take and the good. yeah, take I the good guys. Take, take the good. The good. Yeah. It's bad in everything, guys. Everything has something bad, yeah. no matter what it is. So I think that's the advantage of being a half caste. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Malo. So. Malo to Samoa. Malo to Samoa. Well, Mama Samoa. Hey, hey, hey. We, you know, we still kick tea game, baby. <laughs> we still tea game. You know about that? Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's just some of our thoughts. And, um, yeah, if you haven't watched our previous episode, go back and watch it. Let us know what you've taken from... Yeah, let us know your thoughts, guys. 
this episode um, and you're gonna also attach your blog yeah check out i attached, uh, attached it to the other episode but yeah read my blog guys um because you know what i read i read it and i was like it's funny because i'm like whoa my family hasn't changed like what I wrote in that blog and I like sent it to my siblings I was like man you guys haven't changed because there's a part in there where I said that like some of my siblings claim their tongue inside more <laughs> and I screenshot and sent it to my siblings I was like bro you guys haven't changed <laughs> anyways guys so check it out make sure you, make sure you send um, this video to them <laughs> so check it out guys talk also, um, bro. Talk also, spread the love y'all what love Alright guys, much love. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Chichin, say bye.